right, Capricorn. Let's see, person on Capricorn's mind. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and north node. So anywhere we have Capricorn in your chart or your person, this reading may resonate with you. Into the smoke, we release all energy that does not serve us, all negativity that surrounds us, and all fears that limit us. So it is. Hope everybody is happy, healthy, safe, and doing well. All right. Anybody who wants personal reading info is in the description box below. Um, thank you guys for all your likes, subscribes, the shares. I appreciate you guys oh so much. Thank y'all for being here. So let's get four cards. The person most on Capricorn's mind when they click on this video mid-October. Show me what their next move is. Show me what their next move is. Show me what their next move is, spirit. Last shuffle. Alright. Alright, four cards, please. Capricorn. So we have the sun. Leo energy. Person on Capricorn's mind. What is their next move? Seven of Wands reversed, Page of Cups. Someone here may be wanting you to drop their drop your defenses and maybe unblock them. This person may want to express something to you, send you some type of message, maybe even an apology or a hey, how's your day? The lovers, Gemini, the sun. So somebody here sees you as their sun, like their sunshine. You make this person happy. Show me the sun. Capricorn's person's next move, seven of wands. Damn, ten of cups. See what I'm saying? And the hanging woman, Pisces, Leo. Somebody here has gotten clarity that this is a soulmate connection. That you are their happiness. You are their end-all, be-all. Ten of cups in the sun and the lovers and the hanging woman. It's like they've gotten clarity here. There could have been a period of stagnancy. Uh, someone wants you to drop your defenses, drop your guard, unblock them maybe. Show me the princess of cups. The wheel of fortune so that things can turn. Hmm. Something here may be turning in your favor when it comes to the person on your mind, the tower. Yeah, this is going to come as a shock. There's some type of sudden, shocking, faded event that's about to happen. And it may start off small, but it may lead to marriage. It may start off as like, hey, how are you? I think you look great. <laughs> You're so fly. But I don't know. I kind of feel like this is someone you already know. With the seven of ones in the reverse, why would you... Maybe you're just very defensive against this person, or maybe this person's been guarded towards you and they want to open up and express their emotions. Okay, let's go one more. Show me the hanging woman. This one's pretty self-explanatory. I just did one for Aquarius, so it's confusing as all hell. Yeah, the Empress. Someone here sees you as like their end-all be-all. They want some type of growth here with the sun, expansion. They want illumination. They've gotten clarity on something. They see someone or whatever as very abundant, loving, compassionate, caring. Show me the Ten of Cups, Seven of Wands reversed. Judgment. Yeah, someone, this is a reconciliation, y'all. Scorpio energy. Someone here wants your forgiveness. They want to reconcile. This is something coming back around divine, divinely guided, divinely orchestrated with this wheel here. Show me the wheel. Princess of Cups. Yeah, King of Coins. Damn. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This person could be someone who's very loyal. Could be... Uh, this could be you. Maybe you're the one that wants to send an apology. King of Coins to me is my Capricorn energy. The Wheel of Fortune. Something here is coming back around. 
you may want to express your emotions. You may want some type of forgiveness or reconciliation or something more committed, long-standing, or vice versa. Keep in mind, tarot has no gender, but I see an empress to a king of coins. Not quite, not quite complete, not quite counterparts, I guess you could say. But this is someone, like whoever this is, could be you, could be the other person. It's someone who's loyal, committed, grounded. They want commitment. They believe in traditional things like house, family, value. This person could be very wealthy or very, you know, well off. Um, show me the tower and the lovers. Yeah, Knight of Cups. This person's coming in to offer love. I'm trying to tell you. This shit's going to shock the fuck out of you. Or you're going to shock the fuck out of someone. Take it how it resonates. Show me the outcome of this situation. Four cards. Nine of Wands. Whoever the feminine energy is, they may still be feeling like... I don't know. I don't know. Maybe this is something you kind of feel like giving up or you're still ready to fight for this. Torn energy here. Commitment. There's a commitment coming back around and it's divinely guided by the, you know, higher ups, higher beings. Eight of Wands. Yeah, this, whoever this is, someone's going to be communicating, sending a lot of messages. A lot of messages are coming through. Someone here wants a higher level of commitment with you, but I feel like you could be feeling like, you could be feeling a little tired or weighed down, but I still, I feel like you still want to fight for something here. Or you still got a little fight in you left, or the other person does, or whatever. Okay. Queen of Wands. Yeah, this person's very attracted to you. They're going to take action to communicate and let you know that they want some type of forgiveness, higher level of commitment. But I see you being a little bit guarded towards this person still. Yeah, with the Seven of Wands in the reverse, this person wants you to drop your damn guards. I don't know. It's up to you. We all have free will. Do what you please. But this person sees you as their destiny. Ten of Cups in the uh, Wheel of Fortune. This is going to shock the fuck out of you. This may also make you very happy or this person may make you very happy or vice versa. Major uh, uh, signs I see here is Leo, Gemini, Scorpio, Taurus, Libra. Scorpio's here twice. Pisces is here. Someone's coming in to offer an apology, express their emotions. They're very attracted to you and they're going to take action. This is mid-October. If you guys enjoyed the reading, let me know. Smash the thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel. See you guys in the next one. Peace.